The movie opens with a man narrating his origins on Joint Street, a place where migrant workers settle on a Pacific island. The man states that he is searching for someone named Lin Haiya. Fifteen years ago, two police officers were wandering in Joint Street, complaining how the place is getting worse each day. One of them mentioned a gold robbery done by Lin Haiya, and mentioned that they would be rich when they caught him. Lin Haiya lay wounded after the robbery. C was treating his injuries, but there was no anesthesia. Lin Haiya had robbed the gold under duress. A flashback revealed Lin Haiya in anguish, holding his wife and Dot crying out for Paquin, the gangster who forced him to steal the gold. Even though Lin did what was asked of him, Paquin mercilessly killed his entire family. C decided to help Lin by changing his entire appearance and performing surgery to give him a new identity. While Lin lay with his face covered in bandages, Paquin and his gang burst in. Paquin shot C in the arm, demanding Lin's whereabouts. While the others found the gold, Lin Haya, hiding under a table, attacked, engaging in a brutal fight with them. After defeating the gang members, he faced Pei Quin. Paquin overpowered Lin and was ready to shoot him when C managed to inject Paquin with a needle. Angered, Paquin hit C with the gun's handle and fired a shot. Lin intervened, causing the shot to miss, but C was accidentally hit in the leg. In a final struggle, Lin threw Paquin through a window and rushed to C's aid. As Lin tended to C, Paquin threw a grenade into the room. C pushed Lin out of the way just in time, but the explosion fatally wounded him. C died in Lin Haya's arms. Fifteen years later, in a restaurant, Mina, a friendly waitress, was serving food to customers. She noticed two men outside harassing a young girl. The men spiked the girl's drink and tried to force her to drink it. Concerned, Mina rushed outside to help, but the men dismissed her, telling her to stay out of it. Lao Chen joined her, and as they argued, a police officer arrived. Mina explained the situation, and the officer spilled the drink and asked for proof. He then ordered the men to leave and come with him. After the incident, Mina wondered why Di was late. Lao Chen offered to go look for her. Meanwhile, Di, a young girl returning from school, encountered two boys. One of them angrily blamed her for reporting him to the teacher and began scolding her. When they tried to attack her, Di defended herself and easily defeated them. As the fight continued, Lao Chen arrived, causing the boys to flee. While walking home together, Chen gave Di some candy and wished her a happy birthday. Di thanked him, and Chen warned her not to tell her mother about the fight or the candy. Later, in a nightclub, Lao Chen was making deliveries when he noticed the two men from earlier, along with the officer, entering a VIP room. Inside, the officer, Can, was greeted by George. George pulled a barely conscious girl from the dance floor and handed her to Can. When Can tried to kiss the girl, she suddenly woke up, pushed him away, and bit his lip. George slapped her and told her to show respect to the customers. Can reassured George he would handle her, pulling her closer to his side. George handed Can a bag of money, calling it a gift for their meeting. While they were laughing, George received a call warning him that Packin wanted him to leave because there was a spy. Reacting quickly, Can hit George with an ashtray, but George managed to escape to an alley. Can followed him, only to find himself surrounded by George's gang, with George pointing a gun at him. Unfazed, Can fight off all of the gang members. Soon after, the police arrived. Can told his partner there was a mole and handed him the gun he had taken from George before walking away. Back at home, Chen and Mina were celebrating Dai's birthday. As Dee blew out her candles, there was a loud banging at their door. The woman from the nightclub, Xiao Mei, was begging them to let her in. After opening the door, she told them she had been kidnapped and that her passport had been taken. Meanwhile, a man standing across the street witnessed this and made a phone call to report what he saw. Chen took Dai to bed while Mina stayed with Xiao Mei. When Mina asked what had happened, Xiao Mei explained that she had come from China to meet her online boyfriend. However, once they were together, he took her passport and hit her. Two men later arrived and took her away. As Xiao Mei shared her story, Chen brought her food, and Mina offered her a place to stay for the night. Chen pulled Mina aside, warning her that they could get into trouble for this. Mina reassured him it was just for one night, and he let it go. Sitting outside, Mina confided in Chen that she wanted to help Xiao Mei because she saw herself in her. She recalled a time when she nearly jumped from a building holding baby Dai, 
but Chen had arrived just in time to save them and encouraged her to keep going. The next morning, a group of thugs arrived at the restaurant. Despite Mina telling them they weren't open, they forced their way in, pushing her aside. Inside, Xiao Mei, who had been sleeping with Dai, tried to hide under the bed but was discovered. Di attempted to defend Xiao Mei, but one of the men grabbed Dai and took her. As Mina tried to stop them, the thugs left with Dai. Chen, returning with groceries, was hit by their car and knocked off his bike. Mina and Chen went to the police to report the kidnapping, but the officers ignored them. Frustrated, Mina lashed out at one of the officers, but Chen calmed her down and led her away. At the same time, Can walked into the police station and saw the report about Dai's kidnapping. Noticing that Xiao Mei was in the photo with Dai, he recognized her from the nightclub. Realizing the connection, Can went to confront George about it. Can later report to his superior about Paquin and his group, revealing that many women were being abducted by them. In a flashback, can remember his birthday. He was returning home with a cake when he heard gunshots. He then saw a man with his face wrapped in bandages walking away. When Can turned around, he found his father lying dead on the ground. Back in the present, Can told his colleague, Chaban, that he was determined to find his father's killer, dead or alive. Chaban was skeptical, recalling that the gold robbery back then involved many people and that Khan's father's death was linked to it. Meanwhile, Mina and Chen visited a shop nearby to review the CCTV footage from the morning of the kidnapping. They managed to capture an image of the car the thugs had used and took it to a car dealer who pointed them to a house. Another person they approached mentioned that he had delivered goods to that house before. Dai was being held in a room with several young girls and women. When a man brought them food, Dai refused to eat, disgusted by the food. Can and his colleague arrived at a location where the women were being held. Can jumped over the fence to sneak inside, while at the same time, Chen managed to enter the place hidden under a pile of vegetables. Both of them witnessed the women being mistreated. Can approached a window and saw Xiao Mei inside. She pleaded for his help, and he promised to rescue her. In another room, Can discovered a woman lying on the ground, covered in blood. Meanwhile, Chen found Di's candy in another room and attacked the man inside, demanding to know where Dai was. A woman informed him that Dai had been taken the previous day. At that moment, Can entered the room. Chen and Can began to fight each other. During the struggle, a cabinet fell, causing them to pause. Can be told Chen that he wasn't his enemy. Just then, one of the criminals entered, alerted by the noise, and both Chen and Can teamed up to knock him out. More criminals followed, and Chen and Can fight them off in an intense battle. After a long fight, Chen pulled Can into a room where they hid. Can called for backup, and his colleague broke through the fence to help. As Chen went down the stairs, Can noticed Chen's distinctive limp. It reminded him of the bandaged man he had seen as a child, the same man who had been present when his father was killed. They then got into a car, and Can instructed his colleague to take Chen to the hospital. At the station, Can's boss reprimanded him for ruining the investigation, accusing him of mishandling the case. Can insisted that the evidence was clear, but his boss ordered him to release George, disregarding Can's claims. Meanwhile, Paquin reviewed the CCTV footage of the fight from earlier. Watching Chen's combat style, Paquin realized that Chen might actually be Lin Haya. At the same time, Can was also trying to determine if Chen was indeed Lin Haya. The next morning, Can received a call informing him that Chen had escaped from the hospital after attacking the guards. Chen rushed back to the restaurant and found Mina tied up with tape over her mouth. Paquin's men were there, along with Paquin's niece, Hong Dan Ni. Dan Ni accused Chen of being the one who killed her father, suspecting he was Lin Haya based on the way he fought. To prove her point, she shot Mina in the leg. At that moment, Can arrived and attacked Paquin's men. A gunfight broke out between Dan Ni and Can. As Mina collapsed, Chen rushed to help her, but he discovered that she had also been shot in the stomach. Calling out for Dai, Mina died in Chen's arms. Afterward, Can approached Chen and demanded that he come with him to the station. Enraged by Mina's death, Chen started fighting Khan. They fought intensely, but in the end, Chen managed to cuff Khan to an iron stool and left. Can be spotted Chaban entering a library. Inside, Chaban met with Dan Ni, who expressed her frustration, saying that Can had caused them trouble. Chaban reassured her that he would handle the situation before leaving. 
Can, who had been eavesdropping, overheard their entire conversation. Outside, Chaban explained to Can that the only way to take down Paquin was to work with them from the inside and understand their operations. Can urge him to think about the victims, but Chaban insisted there was no other way. At that moment, Can revealed that he had found Lin Haya. Meanwhile, Chen received a video showing Di being held captive with Dan Ni. Dan Ni told him to bring the gold. Furious and desperate, he began training intensely with a boxing bag, preparing himself for what was to come. Lin Haya delivered the gold to Pakin, who mocked him for trying to change his face and start a new life. Pakin then revealed his true intentions, saying he wouldn't release Di since Lin had only brought half of the gold. Paquin shattered glass near Dai, injuring her feet, while Dan Ni struck Lin Haya with a gold bar. At that moment, the police arrived, and a flashback revealed that Lin Haya had asked Can for help, fearing for his life due to the criminal's threats. Paquin and his men panicked. Paquin and Dan Ni fled with Dai, while their men fired at the police. Lin Haya and Can chase after them. Dan Ni returned to fight them, while Paquin continued with Dai. As Can battled Dan Ni, Lin Haya pursued Paquin. He found Di unconscious on the ground. After shaking her awake, Paquin detonated a bomb nearby. Lin Haya shielded Dai by jumping with her, severely injuring himself. Paquin then attempts to shoot him, but Can intervenes, saving Lin Haya. Paquin and Can engaged in a fierce fight. Paquin managed to reach Dai and threw her from a building. Can leaped to catch her, just as Paquin prepared to shoot them. Lin Haya pushed Paquin, and both of them tumbled down. On the ground, Dan Ni overheard Lin Haya confessing to killing her family and her father, Hong. Realizing Paquin was responsible for everything, Dan Ni stabbed him. Paquin retaliated, stabbing her back, but Lin Haya intervened and struck Paquin. Paquin pulled out the knife and repeatedly stabbed Lin Haya, but in a fit of rage, Lin Haya continued hitting him until they both collapsed. As Lin Haya lay injured, Can rushed to help him. At that moment, Chaban appeared and shot Paquin in the head without hesitation. He then pointed the gun at Can, and in a flashback, it was revealed that Chaban was the one who had killed Can's father. However, as Chaban was about to shoot Can, the gun ran out of bullets. The police soon arrived, and they went to rescue Xiao Mei and the other women. Lin Haya was taken to an ambulance, but as he was being wheeled away, he lost consciousness with Dai crying at his side. Later, Xiao Mei thanked Can for saving her, and he made a lighthearted joke about his injuries. In response, Xiao Mei kissed him. The movie ended with Dai confronting the two boys who had bullied her, but this time, Can arrive and made them apologize to her.